Hello, everyone. Very nice to see you guys again. Here comes the fifth episode of printing case sharing. Briefly introduce the category of this video. The object we are about to show you is peritoneal dialysis catheter puncture teaching aid. The style of this video is as usual. Later, I will bring you some detailed illustration and information about the parameter setting. Last but not least, we've got the actual printing demonstration video to show you. Remember to watch until the last minute. We hope we could bring help for those who need and for those who are researching this by this very simple sharing. If you like our video, don't forget to give a thumbs up and share. Our channel just got 100 subscribers yesterday. Thank you everyone for your support. We will continue to work hard in the spirit of giving back. Don't forget to give a thumbs up, share, and subscribe. Your support is the power to let us keep making more high quality videos. Okay, let's get back to the business. We divided our content into four categories. First, the introduction of peritoneal dialysis. Second, the introduction of the puncture teaching aid. Third, analyzing the stimulation teaching aid print object. Fourth, the demonstration video. First of all, what is peritoneal dialysis? There are two ways to operate kidney dialysis. One is hemodialysis, the other one is peritoneal dialysis. Peritoneal dialysis is one of the treatments for chronic kidney disease. Dialysis solution is infused into the abdominal cavity through a tube buried in the abdominal cavity. Utilize the peritoneum and its widely distributed microvessel as a semi-permeable membrane to do diffusion exchange. Eventually remove the unnecessary water and waste through the drainage tube. Next, we can take a look at the picture in the lower right corner. Abdomen can be divided into three layers, skin layer, muscle layer, and abdominal cavity. After many discussions with the client, we came up with the simple teaching aid with only two layers. Later, we will give you more information and pictures. Our silicone has passed the biocompatibility test. Peritoneal dialysis catheter made with silicone is softer, not irritating, and has great biocompatibility. The cuff on the catheter can cause fibrosis to stabilize the catheter and create a barrier to prevent the bacteria from coming inside the abdominal cavity. Peritoneal dialysis has four major procedures. First, we will put the catheter into the abdominal cavity by minor surgery. Next, Utilize the peritoneum as a semi-permeable membrane to do diffusion exchange. And last, eventually remove the unnecessary water and waste. Next, is the introduction of the teaching aid. The picture above shows the product of this episode. If we open the object, you will see many grids. The purpose of this grid is to stimulate the diffusion exchange reaction. As you can see, every spot is filled with hydrogels in order to stimulate the feeling of puncture. As I mentioned above, this design was created after many discussions. It's a much better and more simple design. The purpose of the grid design is it can help the silicone tube to appear U-shaped after insertion. We chose the SL53 silicone 3D printer to print this teaching aid using steel 28 skin colored one part silicone and steel 18 red one part silicone. The picture is the process of the printing. 
We choose red silicone to stimulate the actual abdomen, skin color to represent the skin, and finally, glue them together. For the next part, we are going to show you the video of the printing process. Lastly, we would like to share some information about the parameter. The printing parameter can also control the hardness of the silicone. Take these two pictures as an example. The density on the left picture is 30%. It is softer and takes less time to produce compared to the right one. The density of the right picture is 80%. Therefore, the silicone is hotter and requires more time to make. Furthermore, the cost on the right is higher. We don't usually set the density to 100%. That is the reason why sometimes clients didn't get the density that they expected. The density influenced the hardness directly. The above is the theme of our peritoneal dialysis catheter puncture teaching aids printing case sharing. If you like our video, you can follow our social platforms. We are very active on these social platforms. If you like our video, please click the thumbs up, subscribe and share. And don't forget to click the bell for our latest updates. Your support is the power to let us keep making more high quality video. If you have any questions, leave a comment down below. Or if you want further information, please feel free to contact us by adding our official line account. That is the end of today's video. Thank you everyone for watching. See you next time. Bye bye.